Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. In this video, I will be discussing an interview experience of Infosys. Guys, this interview experience happened for DSC profile or you can say SCS profile of for Infosys. Guys, this interview happened recently only through Hack with Infi, and this particular interview experience is offered 22 batch candidate. So guys, make sure that you watch this video till the end so that you can get to know the level of the questions which are getting asked as well as the type of the questions which are getting asked. So make sure that you do not skip this video and watch this video till the end. Guys, if you are new to this channel, make sure that you subscribe it and please join my Telegram group also. I post regular updates on different companies which are hiring as well as the questions which are getting asked in them. So make sure that you are present in the Telegram group. The link of the Telegram group is given in the description box. And guys, one more thing is that, see, previously, uh, recently only I have uploaded a uh, uh, video related to Infosys where I have discussed the important topics for all the roles, whether it is SC, SCS or PP role. So if you haven't watched that video till now, please watch it. I will give you the link in the i button or I will give it the link in the description box so guys now let's start this video and before starting the video please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel okay so guys the date of the interview was 1st july 2021 the branch of my friend was csc the duration of the interview was 30 minutes and guys i have told you earlier also that this interview experience was through hack with infi and it was for 2022 batch students okay so the first question that was asked was tell me about yourself guys i know that many of you are 2022 batch students who are watching this video so just clear one thing that whichever interview you give the first question that will be asked from you will be tell me about yourself and guys this will be the most important question in the interview because this question can decide where your interview will lead so guys my tip is that please please tell only those things in your about yourself in the, 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 the things in which you are confident in do not tell anything but you just mention the skills that you are comfortable in because many of you just tell the things that you are not comfortable in and when the interviewer asks the question on the basis of that skills and many of you are not able to answer that thing. So make sure that you do not lie in about yourself and you do only mention those skills in which you are comfortable in and you can answer very well. So I hope I have made my point clear. So the first question will be always tell me about yourself whether you are giving interview of Infosys or some other company. So I hope this question is clear to you. Okay, so the second question was tell me about your project and on what technologies it is based on. Again guys, I have made a video in which I have told you that what all questions can be asked from your project. So make sure that you watch that video also and in this video I will be telling you, see, first you have to give the brief description of your project and you must know the four things about your project. That is what faces, what challenges you face, how you overcome those challenges, what is the future scope of this project and what are the technologies that you have used in this particular project. So out of these four questions, any question can be asked from the interviewer. So you must prepare all these four, four questions for all the projects you have mentioned in the resume. So my friend's project was based on ML and he implemented ML from Python only. So I have made a separate video in which I have discussed the most important, uh, most commonly asked machine learning questions in an interview or I have again made a video of most commonly asked python questions in an interview both the links will be given in the description box so make sure that after watching this video you watch that video also so again my friend's project was based on ml so your project can be based on android or some other technology it is completely dependent on you now the next question was explain binary search algorithm guys i i have told you earlier also that you are giving an scs interview so there you might have to write the codes and you must know all the algorithms like search algorithms, linear search and binary search as well as sorting algorithms. You must know all the sorting algorithms. So binary search from uh, binary search algorithm was asked from my friend. So this is the code for your reference. Make sure that you take a screenshot of it so that you can e understand it easily. Okay. So the next question was again a coding question was there. Rotate an array at a given index. So guys, I will be giving the link of link of this particular question in the description box. You can simply visit that this for the site and see the code from there so i am just telling you the questions which are getting asked in there now the next question was which language you prefer so guys he said python now difference between list and array so guys now the questions are starting from uh, starting getting asked from python only so make sure that when you are asked which language you prefer you to tell only that language that you know it might be c it might be c plus plus or any other language which you prefer so next question was different be between list and array so guys, whenever a difference is asked from you in an interview, make sure that you give at least two points of difference, at least two points. You can give three or four also, but at least two points, not just say the definition of both the things that are asked. That is not a difference. So, okay. So difference between list and array. So list. Okay. So list can contain, uh, consist of elements belonging to different data types. In, if you have studied Python, you know that a single list can contain a string data type as well as a integer data type at a single go. 
but what is an array array can contain all elements belonging to the same data type only so if it is an integer array all the elements will be integer only there will be no other data type which is present in an array now second difference was list cannot directly handle arithmetic operations whereas array can directly handle arithmetic operation so what is what does it means see you have an array of let's say five integers so you have to multiply every integer by two so you can simply do arr that is the name of the array into five so it will multiply all the elements inside the array but you cannot do same thing in the list you have to loop through every element and then you have to multiply it with the five and update its value so i hope the difference is clear to you and one more difference is that arrays are much faster than list so lists are very uh, lists are slow in nature but arrays are fast so i hope this question is clear to you now the next question was difference between list and tuple so as you are seeing that all the questions are now getting asked from python only because he said that he prefers python language so based on this please tell that language only in which you are comfortable in so difference between list and tuple so list consumes more memory okay and tuple consumes less memory as compared to the list see tuple tuple is immutable so therefore it can the elements inside that particular tuple cannot be moderated once it's created it's created it cannot be changed further so list contains more memory tuple consists consumes less memory now list consume okay so this point is repeated i am really sorry this point is repeated but you can say uh, you can say again thing that list are immutable in nature that is the elements of the list can be changed but tuples are immutable in nature that is the once declared the elements of the tuple cannot be changed so i hope these two differences are clear to you i am really sorry that i have just copied the same point twice so i hope the entire question is clear to you now the next question is what is immutable see here we have said that tuples are immutable now what is immutable the things which cannot change like tuples as i have told you earlier once assigned a value we cannot change them let's suppose arr this is the name of the tuple and we have assigned the value 1 comma 2 comma 3 so this value has been assigned to tuple now we cannot do arr of i is equivalent to 5 so let's say we are trying to do arr of 0 is equivalent to 5 we cannot say we cannot do this because we are now changing the value we are not changing the value which is already present inside the tuple so this is not possible so this thing is immutable that is once assigned a value you cannot you cannot update delete or insert any value inside these things so i hope the immutable definition is clear to you now the next question was write an sql query for finding largest salary so again guys if you have watched my previous video i have told in that video also that scs people and the pp role people can be asked can be asked to write the sql queries so this sql query was very basic in nature write sql query for finding largest salary so this is the query uh, this is the query that i have written for your reference that is select max salary from table name so this was just this particular this query was very easy for writing okay so the next question was any extra curricular activities so guys this is this answer is completely dependent on you you might have extra curricular activities and or you might not have so it's just dependent on you only now the next question was given one situation based question so guys infosys generally takes only one interview that is all the things are covered in that interview only other companies take uh, different com uh, different rounds for, for first is technical round second one is hr round so this particular company takes only one interview so there can be little bit hr questions also and there can be little bit situation based question also so let me give you an exa example of situation based question like you are working in a team and one team member is not is not listening to you so how you will convince him how you will tackle this particular situation so this is the example this is one such example of situational based question many more situational based questions can be asked so make sure that you prepare those things so and the answer of these situation again depends on your perspective only now the last question was do you have any questions so guys see many of the interviewers asked do you have any question so please ask one or two questions just do not say no that you do not have question because if you will say no that then interview will un understand that you do not have interest in the company you just want to get a placement okay so please ask any question regarding company you can say that what role i will be assigned what will be my job responsibility and what all things company can expect me so all these questions you can ask from the interviewer and he will give you the answer for the same So this was all the questions which were asked from my friend. I hope you like the interview experience. If you want more such interview experience, please like this video, comment down, and guys make sure that you are present in my Telegram group because I post regular updates on different companies which are hiring. So make sure that you do not miss those updates. The link is given in the description box. So guys, this was it for this video. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching it.